Bouvier de Flandre. The Bouvier de Flandre was invented by the farmers and cattle breeders from the Flemish region of Belgium and northern France. That's why it's commonly referred to as a Franco-Belgian dog. Its main responsibility was to herd and protect the subordinated livestock although it was often charged with other important assignments. In fact, its name literally means a bovine herder. It's general agreed that this versatile farm dog was bred with the involvement of the Irish wolfhounds, Tibetan Mastiff, Schnauzer, Griffin and or Bosseron. In 1910, the members of the Bouvier de Flandre made their first appearance at the International Dog Show in Brussels. The initial standard of the breed was developed in 1912 with the active support of a Frenchman, M. Fontaine, who held the post of a vice president of the club Saint Hubert du Nord. The years of the First World War proved to have been exceptionally difficult for the dog as its number fell to a dangerously low level. Luckily, several enthusiastic breeders managed to keep their dogs from being killed or becoming strays. Some of the Bouvier de Flandre served as couriers while others were used as ambulance and carting dogs during wartime. After the war was over, the most noticeable contribution in the breed's revival was made by the dog named C.H. Nick de Sotegen, whose owner was Captain Barbary, a Belgian army veterinarian. The science of this male left their mark on virtually every pedigree of today's Bouviers. The American Kennel Club formally accepted this breed in 1929 and began to register its specimens in 1931. However, before the Second World War, the Bouvier de Flandre remained very rare both in the US and Europe. After 1945, a few Western immigrants took along several high quality dogs to America and since then Awareness about this breed slowly but steadily grew in this country. Actually, the breed's popularity skyrocketed in the 50s and the 60s of the 20th century. The most known Vouviers in the US was a dog called Lucky that was President Ronald Reagan's treasured pet. Today, the breed doesn't seem to lose its working drive although most of its specimens are kept exclusively for companionship. The standard of the Bouvier de Flandre requests its specimen to be quiet, even-tempered, solid and courageous. In puppyhood, it stands out for impetuous and mischievous nature but usually grows up into a majestic and somewhat lazy dog, which loves nothing more than to those who are hours near the fireplace. Nonetheless, this dog needs a firm and strong master who will be able to dedicate sufficient time to its training and socialization. In this case, children will be quite safe around this dog probably with the exception of two small ones. Due to its herding heritage, this breed tends to her kids, vehicles and familiar animals. It's possible to break it from this aptitude although only to a certain extent. The Bouvier de Flandre is known for its powerful desire to protect its special people so it demonstrates a great deal of suspiciousness in the presence of strangers. Start socializing your pet as early as possible so it would realize that newcomers in your house contemplate no harm. Thanks to its intimidating appearance and unfailing vigilance, this dog makes an ideal watcher. Moreover, 
It can be depended on as an undaunted guardian who will take any measures to ensure the safety of its masters. The Bouvier de Flandre is moderately good with other dogs as long as they don't threaten its owners or territory. Nevertheless, conflicts between specimens of the same sex occur rather frequently so it's highly recommended to always walk this dog on a secure leash. The Bouvier de Flandre is keen on chasing small animals and may inadvertently harm them in a the process. It can be kept without problems only with those non-canine pets with which it has been raised since a young age. The Bouvier de Flandre possesses a thick double coat which takes a sizable amount of time to maintain it in tight condition. It's imperative to brush the dog's hair at least twice a week to prevent it from matting and tangling. Be prepared to spend up to three hours weekly on brushing your pet. It's recommended to acquire a stiff bristle or pin brush and blunt tipped scissors to make this procedure more pleasant. The Bouvier is a pretty messy dog and its beard, long fur on feet and rare end tends to attract dirt, water and debris. It should be bathed every six to eight weeks or when the need arises. If you don't intend to exhibit your dog, it's acceptable to trim its coat and beard for easier maintenance. The dog's teeth need weekly brushing to ensure its good health for long years. Check its ears on a regular basis and clean them if they look dirty. The Bouvier de Flandre is a self-assured British and somewhat authoritative dog whose training requires a substantial amount of effort. The handler should demonstrate strong leadership qualities if he wants to deserve the obedience of this breed. That's why the Bouvier is a bad choice for a novice or too meek dog owner. The training should be based only on reward based methods since physical enforcement will cost even more stubborn and willful behavior of your pet. The Bouvier has an active and inquisitive mind and loves learning advanced tricks as long as its progress is encouraged with its favorite treats. Due to its working background, the Bouvier de Flandre is fairly demanding when it comes to its activity level. Nonetheless, with maturity, it starts to prefer a more sedentary lifestyle and sometimes it should be induced to more vigorous exercise. Sufficient mental and physical stimulation bears the utmost importance for the dog's well-being, so make sure to take your pet for a long and brisk walk each and every day. In spite of its considerable size, this breed can be kept in an apartment if its exercise requirements are properly met. Remember that it's highly predisposed to destructiveness in case of boredom.